An aerator recently began adding oxygen into the water of Yellowknife's Frame Lake. The device was installed by Rio Tinto, and the ultimate goal of the project is to reintroduce fish to the long dead lake. As the CBC's Nadir Hashmi reports, that could happen in 2026. The aerator device is located off the shoreline near the Legislative Assembly. This project fulfills Rio Tinto's requirement to compensate for the loss of fish habitat caused by construction of its diving diamond mine. The company says it will monitor the aerator and the lake over the next two winters and may consider reintroducing fish in the summer of 2026. We want to at least watch it for two winters to make sure that it's working uh, before we you know, be comfortable taking the next steps. Uh, we would also have to go through uh, some additional permitting steps prior to actually uh, reintroducing fish. Frame Lake has been fishless since at least the 1970s. Additionally, arsenic levels remain high in the water due to historic gold mining operations in the area. During winters, Sinclair says there is no oxygen in the lake for fish to survive. Currently, every winter, once there's ice on Frame Lake, uh, basically, the, the oxygen is depleted in the water and it goes down to zero. So that, you know, obviously creates conditions that uh, uh, would not be sustainable for uh, fish populations. The aerator was installed last summer. Although it is designed to not affect ice thickness, Sinclair asked the public to avoid approaching the device. We do have a light and some other demarcation on it to make sure that people are aware, people can see it, um, you know, particularly snowmobilers who might be going through the area. Sinclair says the initial results on the editor's winter performance will come next summer. Nadir Hashmi, CBC News, Yellowknife.